Hi. You're live. <laughs> Good morning, Puzz Collectors. Thanks again for joining us today. Good morning. <laughs> Fine. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Puzz. <laughs> and uh, welcome back if you've been here before, and welcome to all the new viewers. It's been a lot of fun. I think we've been doing this for a month now. Does it feel like that long? Yeah, it feels like a month. Does it? <laughs> Sometimes it feels like a month. This time it does. Sometimes it doesn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hopefully everybody has their coffee. You're ready to talk Pez? Yeah. Oh, we have more boxes we didn't bring up. No, I brought them all up. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we got a huge stack of boxes. They just keep coming, Greg. <laughs> Hey, Robert. Made it. Excited to be here. How's it going? <laughs> we can't put emojis on the, the emojis don't work Keep on the screen. Keep waving. Well, <laughs> how's it going? Hey, Patty. <laughs> Another hand waving. Hello. Good morning. Hey. <laughs> Sunshine in the chat. Good morning. <laughs> Sunshine Tuna. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, from Brunei, Jerusalem. All right. Awesome. Nice. It's awesome. a long way away. That's, That's pretty right. cool. I like when we have some international people. Yeah, for sure. Because there's so many pet collectors from all over the world. And this is the whole point of like making these YouTube videos and having social media is to bring everybody together, I think. so. Plus, I like to hear about international pets. Oh, I know. That's, yeah. <laughs> Pez International has a lot of good Pez that we don't get here, but we get a lot of stuff that they don't get there, so. <laughs> we will use you for your Pez knowledge. Uh, <laughs> my favorite thing is, if you do live, you know, outside the United States, look me up on, uh, like, Facebook or Instagram and send me pictures of what your Pez displays look like or share with me, you know, what your Pez packaging looks like because I enjoy that stuff because... I'm yeah. a graphic designer and I enjoy the pet, the Pez packaging and a lot of stuff I don't open just because I enjoy the designs and everybody's countries that they ship the Pez to. It's like everybody has different packaging. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, so I like that. <laughs> hey, says and does <clears throat> morning. Says and does <laughs> Carol. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. <laughs> Ooh, what is happening here? Sonny is incognito. Uh -oh. 300. Uh-oh. <laughs> now we can just call him Sonny. There you go. <laughs> Sonny and then 300. Nice. John Devlin in the chat. Good hey, morning. John. <laughs> How are you? Are you ready to sell us some more Pez? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're done buying Pez for a little while. I got some of my most favorite Pez last week from John so oh yeah are, are we gonna show any of those or no we'll probably wait for that yeah. we have too many boxes to open we're gonna do something special we got this huge box of Pez from John Dublin and uh, I want to make a special video about it and then maybe like add that video into the live stream or, or maybe make a video separate but I have a fun idea that I want to do <laughs> Yeah. So look forward to that in the next week or two, probably. And then uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I want to switch it up and make it a little bit different, I think. And there was a lot of new Pez news this past week. Some of my uh, most favorite Pez items that we've been getting lately have came from Japan. And they're not Pez dispensers, they're Pez licensed products. And there's a company called Plaza that's based in Japan. And they've came out with some Pez products in the past. They came out with like some bags and uh, like book bags and purses, I guess you should call it. And some other stuff too, like a lot of stuff actually. <laughs> but they just announced that they're coming out with this huge cosmetics line. So Greg's going to pull up a picture here on the screen of their website. And let's go through it real quick because... You, you want know. to start with Plaza? Yeah. All right, hold on. And this website is really fun, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm It's really on. fun just to even look at the website, even if you're not going to buy anything. And 
I don't think that they ship directly here. Some of these companies do, but uh, it's fun to take a look at it and so you know what to look for if you know someone is selling the stuff or if you find it on eBay or whatever. But check out the website. <laughs> Kept us on the screen this oh, time. Oh yeah. Of course it's like a bunch of the vintage graphics. There's the panda. That's my favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> you just recently got that blue stem panda and we're probably probably gonna buy a couple more. Yeah. Where do you want to click? Just, just scroll show? down, yeah. And then I'll put this link in the description after the video, after our live stream is over, so you can check this out. But there's a whole lot of different products you can buy. So if you're into like cosmetics or if you just want to collect these for your collection, I mean, no harm in that. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, some of these with the with the dispensers on it might be cool collectibles, actually. You just never know what kind of stuff like this will be worth later. Yeah, especially since it's so hard to get that not many people are going to have it in their collections. Scroll down there a little like, bit. Something like this box would be really cool. Oh, yeah. Like any of these boxes. I think you got to worry about the, um, the stuff inside going bad over mm -hmm. time. Like, you know, we already have candy leaking all over everything. Like, I don't need, <laughs> like, lipstick or whatever this is. I always worry I have, like, these old juice boxes, like these Pez, like, juice boxes. And they're, like, they're not cardboard, but it's kind of, like, plastic or something. I don't know what it's made out of. But I'm always, like, those are going to go bad someday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a big leak in my box. Now, did they intentionally make you the can, chick say check? Wait, can you translate this? Mine, whenever I open up the site, it asks me to translate it to English. Uh, you click know. on that. I don't know if I have Google Translate. Oh, uh, uh, maybe that's why. The Chrome. Uh, uh, so for this one, we're gonna have to guess what these products are. <laughs> we, don't, we, we don't need to we're gonna let itemize. Greg, we're gonna let Greg try to guess what these products are. We don't need to itemize what the products are. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't care. Yeah. Um, they yeah. didn't see the... Oh, so I guess if you even if you got that, you could empty out the box and use the box for something else. I was thinking that exact thing. It comes in, I just like, <laughs> dump it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. What else we got going on here? What I like is it's is it's like... There's like vintage stuff on here. Yeah. Which is really cool. Like, you don't hardly get anything with vintage images on it. Sunshine Tuna says if you don't open it, then the cosmetics should stay stay fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good tip. <laughs> See, look, like, like they've got the doctor, they've got duck with flower. That like one's really... actually like Revlon. That's a... I mean, they sell that brand here. Yeah. But look, it has like blonde haired nurse on there, elephant. Like, yeah, that's really. I think we need to get some of these. What do you think? Some nail polish? I mean. Wait, what are those? What are they, like little clips? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to find out. They're like. It's like a plaza pass. Yeah. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe you get that when you uh, go there. All right. Oh, yeah, because there's like a limited shopping bag. You got to get the bag. We'll have to get somebody <laughs> to go to the store for us. <laughs> well, Toro over in Japan, he's the one that usually gets me the Japanese products. So I want I want a video of him with the little clip on holding the little bag. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool. They have some really fun... Uh, Pez licensed products in Japan lately, so this is just one of the many things to add to your collection. All right. <laughs> Good morning, Vicky. Soggy Southern California. It rained here <laughs> like it for an entire day yesterday. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, but it's beautiful and sunny out today, so everything is going to grow. Everything's gonna start turning green here. Yeah, next, while, 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 within the next month. While we're on this live stream, you'll see my uh, sinuses just probably like go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> As the flowers come out. Hey Olaf, welcome. Oh, from Germany. Hey yeah. Olaf. <laughs> we're getting some people from around the 
world today. This is really fun. Yeah, yeah. Super I think fun. we normally do too, but some new people, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's great. All Sienna. Right. Sienna's here. Oh, where, where? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, Sienna. <laughs> hey, Sienna. <laughs> Sorry if I miss anybody. Yeah. It's not intentional, but I'm looking at Pez websites. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you want to talk about these real quick? And then we can talk about the next thing. Yeah. Okay. So we got a package and what we couldn't wait to open. <laughs> no, no. We bought it from um, a local <laughs> dealer. Uh, so if you're ever looking for vintage Pez, you can just go on Facebook and look at, uh, just search for David Welch. <laughs> and he lives pretty close to us, so um, we buy from him pretty frequently. And we got these two uh, Snow Whites. That's what they are, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I put them in here because I knew I was going to knock them over. <laughs> yeah. So one thing that's interesting about these Snow Whites is they uh, come with different collar. And the collar and bows typically match. And they have different stems, too. So we, this is, I guess, the... Like a collar, like your shirt collar or your yeah. your cape collar. Yeah, she wear a cape? I call it a cloak. Cloak, but, but I think it's the collar. <laughs> what people, most people call it. <laughs> this one has like a really nice, like white. Yeah, sleeve. super bright sleeve. And red I like button. this. The neon pink. Whenever there's vintage puzz and they have like neon pink or orange or green, I don't know why, but I always think vintage puzz shouldn't come with neon colors. <laughs> I don't know. Like the not, dark past. Not that it shouldn't, but it's like <laughs> that that they have the technology to make these bright colors. Apparently so. Because it's like whenever you're like in the art world, like artists, like the paint, I guess, fades over time. So it's like the paint is never like really bright and neon. So it's like you have these really bright colors. I mean, that was probably even 100 years before this, but hey, let's put it on the spinner. <laughs> okay, give it the old spinneroo. Oh, come on now. No one yeah. heard that. I need to put some shoes on it. All right. <laughs> Look at that cuteness. The cool part about these Snow White Pez is that the eyes are, do you call it die cut? So you can see through them. Yeah. So the blue that you see like in the little slits of her eyes, that's the yeah. Comes from the collar, collar behind her. I can attempt to spin it, but she's not wearing any shoes. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Uh. Does everybody have a Snow White in their collection already? Oh, look, you can see through the mouth, too. Yeah. So we never had one of these, which is surprising. Yeah. But, uh... It's funny because as I've been collecting for 25 years, my sister, she's always been collecting for almost as long as she's a little on and off the last few years, but she always had this Snow White. And it seems like whenever we would go shopping at conventions or buy stuff on eBay, um, as we were collecting together, it would be like she would buy one and then I would buy something else, and I kind of felt like if she bought it, then I didn't really always need it because I get to enjoy it in her collection that I could see, you know, a lot. She so doesn't. Think, she doesn't have her stuff out though, does she? Yeah, her vintage stuff is. Is it? Yeah. I'm gonna swap out the white one. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's why I never bought one of these. I think it's pretty cute. Here, put her back in there, please. Okay, I will work on that. So this is white cloak white bow Ooh. and this common to see this dark purple stem which i really think is cool. i think the purple stem is really nice because it almost looks black when it's not in the light but when you have you know a little light shining on it or in a well-lit room it just looks like the purple just is so pretty on it and it has a yellow sleeve like <laughs> Seems like whenever you get these dark stems and you put you shine a little light on it, like any imperfection just is like. Poof. Yeah, well that's where the that's where it uh, the mold, mold. The mold. So Olaf says he has three: a yellow, a white, and a what is that? A turquoise, and he looks for blue. So oh yeah, we have a yellow and a blue coming. What? Yeah, you do. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 
Greg is the Pez acquisition department lately because he enjoys shopping for Pez and yeah, I keep saying it every week. The the uh, <laughs> the acquisition department is running out of juice, so we'll have to yeah. But this this week this week was absolute ins insanity uh, for Pez. So what? stuff I don't know about yet. Yeah, you don't know about any of it. Like, oh. <laughs> I mean, some of it you might, but... Also, I've been wanting this one for a long time. I don't know why I don't have this in my collection. It's an MMM, so it's a Merry Music Maker, and it's a frog. This one just happens to have the feet on it still. 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 <laughs> I mean, it's not, a, it's not a footless one. Yeah. No, no feet. <laughs> also, you might have noticed we put a light in front of the of the Pez oh, yeah. for the for the little spinner. So let us know if you if it looks better than it did last week. I think it I looks th really good. I think it looks better. Plus it's got a little shine on it. Yeah. It makes the plastic a little brighter, I think. Yeah, yeah. Plus it helps it focus better. Oh yeah. So it doesn't focus on the background so much. So Bob says, I know a good place to get oh, yeah. shoes. <laughs> no, I do have some. I need to dig them out. They're uh, they're not up here, so I was they're down with my big display. So I was like, I need to grab those. That's why I turned around and I grabbed one of these little things instead. <laughs> Patty says, mine is light blue stem, light yellow cloak, and bow. Yeah. Light yellow cloak. Yeah, that's a... I don't know what color stem or yellow one that's coming in is. I can't remember. But uh, that's probably a really pretty one. Yeah. What colors did you say we're getting? Uh, the darker blue, darker. Or, or you know, just like regular blue, um, which is a little bit more higher higher end one, mm. and then the yellow, which is more common. So like the light blue, white, and yellow, you'll see a lot, but the darker blues, um, they're more rare. I like these snow whites. Yeah, no, they're cool. For being like little human pets, they're pretty cute. <laughs> what I like about them is the variations are interesting. Like they're obvious variations, mm. right? So, <laughs> yeah. All right, you want to move on to this? Yeah. So also, wait, are you on the? I'm getting there. Oh. Also on March first, Pez International they released their crystal good luck bear the care bear so last month i guess beginning of february we got the crystal cheer bear the pink one so pez international they released the good luck bear for saint patrick's day they're saying here and it looks like it's six euros to buy it but pez usa hasn't announced it or sold it yet so i'm guessing it's going to be coming soon i would think we're getting it as well but they don't ever tell us, so. <laughs> what is that cult? What is that flavor? Nashy? Oh, that's pear. It's a pear? Yeah. Ah. It's like a. a that's a Pez International flavor because I get it in my uh, advent calendar. I do have it here somewhere. You could probably try it. <laughs> is it good? Yeah. Nice. I like the Pez International candy. I actually. More likely to eat that than the Pez USA candy. <laughs> yeah, same. Maybe it's just the fun flavors. I don't know, but it tastes different. So is that, is anybody getting this uh, St. Patrick's Day bear? Good luck bear. Me. Yeah, we're we getting it. <laughs> yeah. You already have someone sent it to yeah. us. Yeah. And I love the graphics on these cards. Even the graphics are different if you collect. The card variations between like Pez International and Pez USA. So the candy's different, the card's different, but the Pez is the same. <laughs> yeah. So if you like the variations, then you're going to want to get both. And then you're going to have to get one to open and then one to keep on card. So you really need mm -hmm. three. Well, I'll buy the, I'll buy like two from Pez USA and open one and keep one on card. And then I'll get one from Pez International. At least that's what I usually do. I did get. Oh, I think it's in the box. What you'll is it? see it now. You'll see it. You're oh. going to see uh, a Care Bear coming up in one of my boxes. I'm pretty sure it's in this box. 
So that's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm just looking to see if there's anything I wanted to show here, but maybe not. Sometimes you can get a little glimpse. We don't show all of the, the crazy vintage that we buy all the time. Um, so, but sometimes it's behind us. So something up there you'll never see. If you might eye spy <laughs> something crazy, that's uh, that's on you. Yeah, <laughs> I do have people comment or write me uh, messages or whatever on social media. They're like, "What is that?" or "How much was that Pez?" or "What is that Pez next to you?" or you know, people do look through the stuff. So I'm always like, "What? How did you see that?" or "Pretty good eye." <laughs> like caught in 4K. Yeah. <laughs> What else we got going on? Um, oh, there's one more Pez news this past week. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to do me to pull up the one note? I don't know if I want to do that. Oh. How do I close this? There we go. Let me just can share this. Can you just this. make that bigger? I can try. Yeah. But I'll just share this. Boom, boom, boom. Ding. Share screen. One note. Share. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Now let me try to... That's as big as it gets. Funko announced all their WonderCon exclusives. And WonderCon is like... It's ran by the same company as San Diego Comic-Con. So this is like their other really big convention that they put on during the year. And it's coming up here in the spring. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what month. It might be in March. I don't know. I don't really... Uh, keep track of those too much anymore because we don't really go to conventions anymore <laughs> just post conventions <laughs> yeah by the way we gave up our comic-con tickets to go to cleveland that so was hard. <laughs> it took us 10 years to get in the like <laughs> comic-con inner circle yeah so that we could get tickets every year yeah so uh come see us in cleveland yeah <laughs> because we sacrificed a lot to go yeah. this year yeah we'll probably go back Maybe to San Diego Comic Con someday, but I don't know. I'd rather go to the Pez conventions and you know meet some people and buy some Pez and do Pez stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so they're gonna have a Funko.com exclusive for WonderCon, and can you zoom in on that? Cause I think it's pretty cute. So it's a Freddy Funko. I can't zoom in. Uh, I mean, I can, but it'll be just it's not as good. Okay. A little better. Yeah, so does everybody see it there? Yeah. A little. Do you see it right there? Where? Right there. Oh, yeah. This? Yeah, so that's the new Freddy Funko Pop Pez. Don't I just scroll down and we can see it in the box? Yeah. So look how it has the crown because in the box you can't see the little crown. Oh. And it's wearing a little mask. So I guess it's like a superhero. Okay. It could be a vigilante. I don't know. Is this like, is this like the. Pez Pal? Is that Funko's version of a Pez Pal? Yeah, that, Freddy Funko is like their mascot. Ah. So you'll see Freddy Funko on a lot of their stuff. It's usually used in the convention, so they'll have like convention exclusive Freddy Funko Pops that like go for a lot of money because they're really hard to get. So usually, usually he's on t-shirts and it's cute. So yeah, so scroll down there you can see the... Yeah, see, I don't know what happened, but... Oh no. Where'd it go? Exactly. Oh, there it goes. That's weird. That's because I was, uh... You're going from a Mac to a PC. <laughs> Just trying to get the good size for everybody. Because they could be watching it on their phone. Yeah. So here it is. It's called Freddy Mast. And there's, of course, the sticker on the box. That's what you have to look for to make sure it's legit. Mm-hmm. But I think it's good that they're going to sell it on Funko.com. That still doesn't mean that it's going to be easy to get. So once Funko announces that the date and the time that these are going to be released, you know, you're going to, you're going to want to get on Funko.com if you really want this and make sure you buy it right away. Cause the Funko stuff just like, like those people are, the Funko collectors are, they're good at, you know, snatching, snatching everything up. up right away. They don't wait. Is it a limited edition? Like, I mean, not limited edition, but are they going to limit it? To like they one per person? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Hopefully they do like limit it, like a couple or something per person or one per person. I think that they do that on other releases. So 
I could only imagine that they will. Yeah. Yeah. Then plus more people can get them because then people won't buy them just to resell them. So let's so uh, sound off in the comments if you are a Funko Pop Pez collector. So like, are you going to get this? Just a yes or no would be is good. Yes, <laughs> if I can. <laughs> yeah, are we gonna get two? To. One to open because well, actually you can open these and put them back, and they look. Yeah. There's no tape or anything on them. Yeah, typically. you just have to be careful and open the top. Usually I slide a knife in there and like pull it up. Because otherwise the little tab thing will tear on it if you drop too careful with opening it. But um, I usually display my Funko Pop Pez all in their boxes. Like I have just a very few limited ones that I open. But like these ones that are more exclusive, I don't usually open them at all. Yeah. The uh, Funkos are tough to tough to display because they're just, they're just bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... I do like how I'm displaying them, though. We hung up all those shadow boxes on our wall. Sony says yes. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Carol says, I hope so. Yeah. Patty says, no Funko for me. <laughs> you could get the Soup Nazi and then just, that's the one uh. Funko that you have. And uh, <laughs> you just, whenever you want to buy one, you just go, no Funko for me. Yeah. There's actually a lot of people who don't, or I guess I say pets collectors that don't really care for the... Funko Pop Pez, but I get it because they don't look exactly the same. They're the same stem, but the heads and the same like plastic for the heads. They're just heads are usually bigger. And they're more. Yeah. They look like Funkos. I don't know. I like them. We, Aaron, have you shared your our Funko display? We have them in like uh, shadow boxes on the wall. Down. Um, just in my story, I should make a YouTube video. Yeah. Showing them because. Yeah. They're all full, and I need to get another one. I need to check the sales on Michael's and buy one when they're on sale again. <laughs> Cause sometimes Michael's has those shadow box sales and it's like that one time didn't we get like buy one get two free or yeah, something? It was yeah. like ridiculous. And I'm like, they're practically giving these away. So, I mean we yeah. do pretty much take half of them off and throw the back side away. <laughs> yeah. You um you can get sixty in one of those shadow boxes from Michael's. Oh yeah sixty or thirty? I think it's, I think it's sixty. Six across, I think. Yeah. Wait. Six across, five down. Maybe it is 30. I think it's like 30. Is it 30? Is it oh, 60 yeah. and two? So anyway, you can get a lot of them in there. And uh, when you hang, and then we hang them on the wall. And then we have like four or five of, of those like going down the wall. So um, it really, it helps get them, you know, off the shelves. and. Yeah. I like the packaging on them. Yeah. I kind of wish that they would package them on cards or in bags but i don't know yeah i think that if they did that maybe people might appreciate them more because it would fit into the collection or if the heads were smaller i don't know like i see why they made them big because funko's heads are usually like large sunshine says not a funko pop collector won't be getting this one <laughs> yeah i respect that i mean yeah the uh you know it it, it messes up kind of the the vibe of the Pez collection, right? Because because every display is set for the Pez stand, like everything is set for a, the size of a Pez. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you got this like bulbous head Pez show up. Like, hey, <laughs> I don't fit anywhere. Like, so. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, Bob says thirty per shadow box. Okay. Well, Aaron's always right. Like, it's you know, <laughs> well, there 60, was no question. Well, sixty just sounded like a lot. <laughs> then I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I know. I was like, if it when sounds I said it, wrong. It's probably wrong. <laughs> Olaf says, are the Harry Potter series Funko Pop? There are Harry Potter Funko Pop Pez. And then there's also the like more chibi, I guess, cute looking Harry Potter ones that come with like the small ones and the big ones. And then there's one giant set of Harry Potter Pez that came out first. And they're super realistic. They're cool, but they're also a little too realistic. <laughs> but the box graphics are really cool, so I keep them in the box. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. So there's actually a lot of Harry Potter Pez, but I don't know why they didn't come out with more characters, because there's a lot of Harry Potter characters, but... Should it be just like a stem with no head and just be Voldemort? Like, just <laughs> invisible? <laughs> the Voldemort, <laughs> the chibi Voldemort Pez is actually really cute. Yeah. And then the realistic one is like scary, like you want to hide that and don't keep it in your room at night. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> 
CZR wants to see the Casper Pez. Should we put mm. them on the spinner? Can. Maybe a couple, not all of them. Some of them are... Uh, these are Greg's... Top secret. Yeah, Greg likes these a lot. We'll give you a little sampling. This is one of his uh, things he likes to collect, so he looks for them, I guess. Well, you look at these. You can put them all in there. Oh, like all, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll just put them all over there. So Casper comes put in die cut. So I, I will. Uh, I can't tell. Okay, here we go. Let me get rid of uh, CZR's comment here. So Casper comes in die cut and non die cut, and there's also red inner sleeve and black inner sleeve. And I don't know if the red and black inner sleeve comes for all the colors. I've actually never seen black inner sleeve on yellow or blue stem, but I suspect that they exist. They're just rarer. Um, but I know white comes in black and red for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so these are the ones I have now. And so what I'm looking for, if you, if anybody has anyone, any of them to sell to me is I'm looking for blue die cut plus really anything that you don't see in this list. So um, a white on a white non die cut, a blue die cut, and I don't think they have. The, I don't think the cream. I don't think die cut and cream exists. But Wait, they uh, don't see that. So this is the this is the white one, I yep. guess, and then that's the that's the cream one. Cream, just in case you can't tell on the colors on the screen. Yeah. So turn it turn it off. Turn those to the side a little bit. The ones that are non die cut. There you see. <laughs> nice so you can see they say casper down here which is really neat mm. does it say casper on the other side too no no it's just, just says pez yeah <laughs> but the black sleeve is much much harder to find so if you see a casper with a black sleeve uh send me a note and i'll buy it this one yeah not not don't just buy it immediately. Send it to me so that I can uh, buy it immediately. <laughs> Greg got me this Casper one before we were married, like a long time ago, yeah. for like Christmas or something. And I need a. I've had that one. That, that's one of my first vintage ones. I think I've I got like big vintage. Yep. Yeah. And I actually need to get another one of these cream color ones here, because this one has a little crack on the hinge. What? See it right here. It does? Yeah. So you can. Uh, Did you know that? I bought it on eBay. Oh, so oh, this is the one you got on eBay. Yeah, but I didn't have it, so I didn't send it back. But that's a crack. Yeah, so they're they're notorious for. Oh, you can't even hardly really see it. Oh, I know. You got to be really. You got to really look these over with a fine tooth comb. But right, you know, you're not gonna be able to see that. But right on the hinge, yeah, you can see it just right there, right on the hinge, right there on the head. Like down where the little right, right where the little hole is there. That's where they crack, and they don't crack always from misuse i've seen this crack <laughs> in cello mm. so um like when they're making them it's just that the or from shipping them here? it's just the a plastic flexes with heat and cold or something mm. and it and that's a weak spot so um as you can see i still buy them because they're very hard to find without that crack very very hard to find mm -hmm. um but um but obviously without the crack is better because mm -hmm. if it lasted this long without the crack, the chances of it cracking are pretty low, I think. Yeah. Oh, here, put Caitlin's comment on because this is something people might not know. Let me switch to it. So like these little Caspers, they're not printed on. They're actually... <laughs> they're actually... Uh, in the screen yeah see like if you pull it up the, there it's a die cut yeah. on the sleeve so it's actually cut through the sleeve yeah or through the stem so you can see the color of the sleeve so that's pretty cool there's a few of these pets so there's like a mickey mouse with die cut bozo yeah i don't think I don't, we have a mickey die cut open oh uh, there's a mickey a bozo the casper um oh There's a, a bunny. bunny i got the bunny. yeah we have a bunny uh, i like here. the die cut sleeves i think they're pretty neat yeah it's not up here it's downstairs 
But any of the die cuts are worth money. So if you find a die cut out in the wild, just buy it. Yeah. And uh, Good question. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. All right, let's go back here. So these are these are amongst my favorite paths for sure. Mm -hmm. You might um, want to put these back so we don't yeah. knock them over. <laughs> uh, I like this light blue color. Yeah, no, I want to get the. Uh, they remind me of the FEB colors because they're like really light pastel stems, mm -hmm. and they're kind of unique colors that you don't normally see. I think that's kind of what makes me like them. I think. All right. <laughs> oh, Donald Duck die cut. Yeah, yeah, we, we have that around here somewhere, don't we? Yeah, I have that. I have Donald and Mickey in the solos, so you can't enjoy the the die cuts, but I know they're there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to get them. I'm gonna I'm gonna find them non, you know, open, loose, oh. so that uh, so that we can display them better. But they're really down. They're really low on my list. Like once we have it in cello, you know. It's, I feel like I'm just double buying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, should we should we just open a box while we talk? Yes. Should we just go slow? And... Yes. There is a... Uh... Not were... many packages came in envelopes this week. Yeah. I love the Donald Duck die cut. <laughs> Wait, make sure you handle that. Handle with care. And it's fragile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do I like them as much as my skull pez? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just easier to collect the skull pez, honestly. The Casper ones. Yeah, I, I do. I probably like them equally. I really do like. Um, I, I don't want to say just Halloween, but like. Oh yeah. I like yeah. that kind of yeah. style pez where yeah. it's not. Um, you know, it's kind of horror or or. Uh, you know, skulls or something like that. Thanks for cutting this open so we don't fumble around it on the live stream. Oh, yeah, I tried it. I had to cut them open this morning because I forgot to cut them. That one's all sealed up. Oh, you want to give me the, uh, the knife? Oh, I think I got this to replace your, uh, your stinky, your stinky one. My stinky? Oh, <laughs> Remember we talked about... This one looks really good. We talked about Bugs Bunny being a smoker. The stinky one sits behind me. <laughs> and it was really... It, oh, it wasn't just stinky, though. It was actually really yellowed. Is that Hong Kong? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. This one actually looks pretty good. A little floppy, but... Barely. Yeah. In the eBay... The eBay seller must know a little bit about Pez because there was a picture of it holding it upside down. Like, and it was... That it's figure that bad. was good, yeah. So if you're ever selling Pez online... Get a picture of them, or you're buying Pez online, ask the seller for a picture of it holding it upside down. If you care about head flops. Some people don't care, but if you care. It's just a clear sleeve. Here, yeah. put it on that, please. Whoa, it's a little wiggly. Man. So this is non-smoker Bugs Bunny. It's yours. <laughs> Wait, let me grab my smoker Bugs Bunny. It's right here. He looks so happy. Look at him. Wait. Look at him. I added the smoker bunny to my collection because oh, like, I still love it. This is Smoker Bugs Bunny. Look how wobbly it is. The uh, so just so you know, this is a good. You know, when you're buying stuff on eBay, you should you should ask. <sighs> you know, not to not to discriminate or, or anything, but collectibles from smoke free households just are more original. Well, sometimes the people will say like smoke free, but there's just a lot of people selling it. And if you don't read the description all the way, or yeah, that one. The smoke one smelt when we got it, and I just, I let it sit down on the table for like a month or so, <laughs> and then one day I finally got out some soapy water and I scrubbed it up, and it doesn't smell anymore, but, and it looks really sad, so I'm like, I'm going to add to my collection. Yeah. It still needs a home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're still, yeah, so Bob says, wow, huge difference. I think people don't really, I think people underestimate the difference, and you know, it's not us trying just being mean. Yeah. At all, like people do what you do what you want with your stuff, but um, the white that those white whiskers or or the fluff or whatever you call it <laughs> is actually really white on this one. But you can even see how it kind of 
gets into the stem. Oh yeah. Here's another one I have. Oh. So that see, one that is one more. That one looks a little yellow. That one's more sun damaged uh, because see how it's lighter. Oh yeah. I have a whole bunch of these Bugs Bunnies because Bugs Bunny was one of the pets that started my collection. So. Yeah. I can't read that. Does it say Austria? Yeah, I'd say Austria. So the plastic on an Austria versus a Hong Kong are going to be a little different too. Yeah. So usually the uh, I don't know if it picks it up, but the wait, what? Oh, there. This is the new one. Yeah. Yeah. Put the oh, Austria. Put the Austria one up there. I'm trying to here. Oh, look, they they're backwards even. So that's each side with the country and the pattern. Yeah. I can't tell on the screen, but usually the Hong Kong ones have like a like a texture behind the Pez. Yeah, this one does. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a different like mold. It just looks different. Yeah. Like the texture behind the PEZ is a different texture than on the Austria stems. Look how that color is really different. Yeah, I don't know if it's just the color of the of the plastic or if it has some fade, but yeah. we'll never know. <laughs> We'll never know. We just love them all. I still like it. Even even Smoker Bugs is part of the family. <laughs> He's gonna I go back there. I keep all my Bugs Bunnies right here. Oh, the open ones, I guess. Yeah, the open ones. Moves like I'm got some new Pez. Uh, also, feel free to tell us in the chat what you got. Ooh. All right, what's next? Oh, you got this. Want to open that? Yeah. Who's this? Do you remember who's this from? No, I cut all the names off. <laughs> And I just mingle them together. I buy from specific people. Well, you know. when you pot, ooh, you might want to open this. Let's no, see. no, you can open it. This is a. Uh... Is this the chip? Oh, is that what that is? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've been waiting on this one. Uh, here. You open that one. Since that one's probably more for you, and this one's probably more for me. Aaron just asked me today if I liked pink. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what did that get brought up in? You were painting your fingernails. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Ask Greg if he wanted me to paint his fingernails, and then he's like, "Sure." And I'm like, "What color?" And I'm like, "Would you like pink?" I'm like, don't threaten if you're not gonna do it. <laughs> All right, so um, you put it on the spinner. Yeah. It's feet. Well, this one has feet. Yeah, that one has feet. It's just a, it's just a regular on, but it's on pink stem, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Wait, I don't have this. Wait. Ooh. Hmm. We, we don't need two. I like how the little plastic is in the eyes too. Like when you're buying these skulls, these more modern skulls, be careful because people poke out the hmm. people poke out the little plastic in its eyes. Or it falls out or it breaks. See right there it's coming around. Like you see the little plastic in there? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're looking on eBay and you see the picture, you're like, why does this one look different? It's probably broken. Yeah, I think those plastic, I think it's like a plastic insert and they're kind of loose sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice hot pink. That's a nice skull. Thank you. I like it. Thank you. Here, you want to show? Oh, this is this is the other one we got. Oh my God, Ooh, so cute. What do you think about that? <laughs> is that supposed to be like a Chippendale? That's a chip, yeah. Oh wait, is it chip or is it Dale? I think it's chip. And he's got a, the, well, one has a red nose and one has a not red nose, but this one looks like a brown nose. But there is no two. He's good looking. Like, look at the gentleman with the little top hat on. <laughs> I have a thing for the Pez with the hats. I, I just couldn't believe we didn't have this. Yeah. The uh, There's a lot of Disney characters that Pez has made. And... Uh, like the Snow White, this, there's like a whole bunch, like Tinkerbell, and we finally got the Captain Hook, what, last week? So there's a lot of Disney puzzles that we're working on. 
Dale has a red nose. Chip was so named because his nose looks like a chocolate chip. Uh, Sunshine too. Bring in that. A, that's a good fact. That's an easy way to remember. Bring like that chocolate factoid. Chip. Chip and chip orange. And orange. Yeah, he's a, he's a good looking gentleman. <laughs> Distinguished. Yeah, there's lots of that brings up another point. There's lots of different head variations for these chips. Mm -hmm. So um, we didn't have any, so I bought one that was available. I like this. But orange. I would have uh, I would have bought whatever was available. This is also uh, no patent number. It just says made in Austria on it. So that's fun. Yeah. So the stems and oh. it, it it. I don't know if this if it'll if it can show it, but yeah, see that. There it goes. Here's no patent number. So it's up in the air if this is like, I think it is rarer to not have a patent number, but I've never seen a collector openly looking for these, but perhaps they do. <laughs> um, I, I like it just because it's unique. Yeah. Okay, pick a box. I'll that pick. one was really, really, really hard to open. Because it's got magnets, you'd be no. They like taped, they taped it. There's something coming out. They taped it up, and then no. there was no way to figure out where to cut it. Okay. I figured it out. You know it's gonna be an FEB. <laughs> I don't. Have you bought any FEBs lately? No, no. I'm chill. I told you I was chilling out on FEBs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Did I tell did I tell everybody last week that we were gonna that I was gonna work on these MMMs? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So there you go. It's a koala MMM, so it's a merry music maker. Do you wanna blow on the whistle? No, thank you. <laughs> here, put it here on the spinner. Give people a good look at it. We need to tighten the dust down, it's wiggly. I looked, it's not on there with screws. This desk oh, it's is from not? Ikea. It's like little tabs. Uh, so you can't? No. I mean, I could probably put some screws in it. Put some super glue on it so it doesn't wiggle. Look at that. Looks nice. So n normally you see the koala wait, wait, wait. on a red stem. What's this? <laughs> is that a crack? I don't know. Just a There's something right here, but it might be a scratch. It almost looks like I don't know. It needs to be wiped off for sure because it has some kind of like goo on it. Look, there's like goo. There's like goo on it. Who did you buy that from? Well, you might not want to say, but like, did you buy it on eBay? <laughs> I don't know. I need to look. Yeah, it does have some goo on it, doesn't it? It might just need to be wiped off. Like, yeah, usually if you get crack. stuff on eBay, you know, like people will just ship it to you and it's it's not all cleaned up. Yeah, it's got some goo on it. Alright, well. Yeah, it's got goo up here. It could be, wonder if it's like completely glued together. Like that would be hilarious. I don't think that's glue though. I think it's just It's definitely crap. weird. It's got it on the side here, too, not just the front. We'll clean it up. Give it a bath? You give it a bath. Last week, we spent a couple hours cleaning a bunch of pets. <laughs> it was disgusting. Like, you look at these pets and you think, oh, they're not too dirty. And then we have these rags that are just covered in <laughs> crap. Like, uh, not it's good. Gross. It's a side. This is a good one to put this one's on synthesized. your Okay, I an old... Oh, I know. There's phone two box. phone, two iPhone boxes in here. Oh, another, an, another. What is Wait, this? Wait, we don't have that color. I don't even remember buying this. Did you buy? It? You must have bought it. Oh yeah. You made. Sometimes the stuff takes a week or so to come in, so you might have forgot. Let's see. Uh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. I like that color. Yeah. It's we like don't, a green on a We don't have any uh, red hat, or uh, we don't have any round hat elephants. Oh, I yeah. Think. And this green head, like, we don't have anything that we have. And we don't have any on an orange stem either. I'm looking because 
a lot of them are sitting over there. Has a yellow sleeve. <laughs> yeah, put them on the spinner. Let's give them an old spinneroo. Ooh, that's a good looking one. All right, I'm happy I forgot about this. Is he like really crooked or is it just the how it's? <laughs> Oh, the head's not on there right. Wait, what's going on with it? I mean, you know how these vintage pets are. <laughs> Wait. Like, it's how it is. There's something not right with it. Well, that's how all the elephants are. Oh. Uh, they don't, uh, like, here. if you're if you're not careful how it sits down there, it's not going to sit perfect. See, now you messed up. You messed up his mojo. Oh, Okay. That was something. <laughs> Look, it's a nice elephant. But I'm a sucker for orange stem, so... I think it looks good. Yeah. Made in Austria. We get the little pattern on the Pez, Pez part right here. I know, I was just looking at that. It gets really cool. It's got a lot like of a, texture. You got a lot of weird texture. That's like... Some of the Hong Kong stems have that like real crazy texture too. You can't. This one's hard to tell because it's yellow. Don't show me. Show them. <laughs> I'll show myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's cool. You think all these pez are the same for the stems, but they're not. There's so many variations just for the stems alone it's ridiculous so he's gonna look at it right like i don't we need some shoes for him but see there's the there's our elephants so you can see we didn't have one like that he just sticks out yeah all right uh-oh we filled up the, the thing all right <laughs> this is still my favorite Put him over here. So, are you hoping to get anything this week? Like, yeah. Oh my gosh! Wait. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I don't know what that is. That I was, was a... talking about Harry Potter. Yeah. That. So this is a lot. This is a lot on eBay. That um, I think it was like starting bid, like twenty <laughs> bucks or something. So I just popped the bid on it and then just left it alone and won it accidentally show oh wow okay. there's wait there's how many pot <laughs> okay there's three harry potters we'll just pretend that it's ron hermione <laughs> and harry <laughs> <laughs> now how many of these do you have like a thousand <laughs> cute though oh. okay let's uh let's get out i guess why you bought this wait why did you even buy this because i don't know this is missing a did you have a hat uh i Yugoslavia. can get i can get hats so i got this one because Ooh. he looked different than these other colors like here put this Oh, it's like a bright orange. Put these two up there. And, you know, it's hard to tell on... It's hard to tell on the on eBay. <laughs> it's got See? bunny slivers. See how that's a different color? And then this one here... Wait, wait, wait. Maybe not that one. Is that not the... Wait. Yeah, this yeah, one... That one's okay. Put yeah. this one on Yeah, there? that one's fine. Wait, those two actually look... No, they're different. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired from this cuz <laughs> display here. Oh, I can't get these today. See how it's like slightly different? I don't know if it's, I don't know. I took a gamble on it basically, that it was different. And I don't know if it is or isn't, but I think it is. What do you guys think in the chat? Do you think middle elephant is different from left elephant and different from right elephant? Besides the hat and the hair. 
I mean, it's a different stem. We have a, yeah, the stem is different. Yeah. It needs a... Uh, is that one a hair one? Oh, it doesn't. They all... It's random if they're ha hair, hair or hat. Well, that first one looks different. The only way it looks different is because the little eyeballs. But, uh... But yeah, he's missing a hat, but I like him. So, uh, and he has the, he has the pin. The nub. He has the the nub. So whenever you're buying elephants without hats, always look make sure it has that nub. See the little. Because if it doesn't have the nub, uh... if it doesn't have the nub, it's you'd have to glue the hat. But. Uh, the nub works for the hair too. Yeah, the nub These works for the hair too. Holes on the back don't do anything. Yeah, they're useless. You can see the holes. There's the back. The, of those. the hair covers the holes, but they don't poke into the holes. Yeah, and the hat. You see the holes still. Yeah. So that's why I bought it is because it had a funky looking elephant, and I didn't know if it was different, and I figured I'll just find a hat for it somewhere. Like, there's enough broken pez out there that I can find a hat and pop it on there. Put those back over there, please. There, we also, in the box, there's a Wonder Woman. Do, 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 do. Wonder Woman. And then there's the Garfield. <laughs> and then three Harry Potters. <laughs> yeah, so... I don't know if I did okay, did okay on this or not, but... All right, let's see what's in here. So as you can tell, I'm starting to like, instead of just buying everything I see, I'm starting to like buy specific things to just fill in holes um, or, oh yeah. Okay, so, so this, we're gonna need a little bit more inspection. So who can tell me what this is? <laughs> Who's gonna win? Yeah, Bob, I think so. It was like, it might have been 30, but I think it was cheap. It might have been like 20, $28 or something. I have to look. For the lot with the elephant? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. It was like, Fishman. It was like when you bid like the first bid and no one bid over you. Is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. So Fishman on a USA stem. Here you go. Orange. This was not $20, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I mean, if anybody's interested in what I paid for this stuff, I'm happy to look it up and tell you. I honestly don't care. Um, this This is a pretty rare one. Because it's on USA, find? yeah. So, what makes this here, what makes these interesting? Here. Put them on here. What makes these interesting is the teeth. So, see how this one it has the teeth. The teeth are sharp. This is absolutely what you have to find on these. So, more often than not, the teeth are either broken off, they're nubbed, somebody stuck something in its mouth. Mm some kids played with it or whatever and they, they're real they'll break off or it could be even from the factory um they don't see your pointer oh yeah from the factory though look how the eyes are yeah they have holes, holes in them and then the mouth has holes so then the other thing is the usa stem Whoop. which uh <laughs> which i always love the usa stem and it's rare to find these without melt marks uh, I, I always say like USA stems always have seem to always have melt marks, but it looks good. I like those details on these. Yeah, a lot of Pez is just flat. There's no detail and texture. Whenever I find a Pez with texture, I like that. So maybe somebody can comment on the difference between Fishman and Creature from the from Black is it Black Lagoon? Mm -hmm. Like I think ones with copyright, ones without. I think that's the difference. Um, but uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not reading anything. Just going based on uh, mm. what I remember. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's probably the oh, big. Should I spin it? That's all right. No. You showed it. You showed it. 
That's probably the put it in the thing. That's probably the big thing. purchase of the week if I were to. I helped bit on that driving down the road in the Jeep and I accidentally hit the pit button. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised we won that with you know, Aaron's it. trying to bid on it while we're driving. <laughs> but I the reason I wanted this is because this seller is here local to me. And I didn't um, they don't normally sell pets. They don't normally sell pets. This was an estate sale find. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I also bought the I bought this from them too. I think I think I got this from them too, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, that's right. The um, long chin clown. It might not have been the long chin clown. Maybe. No, that one was. I'm pretty sure. But, uh, I remember when you bought that because you thought maybe the hat was orange, but it came and it was more yellow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so I've always wanted this creature. I see it in uh, other people's collections and I drool over it. <laughs> We've never had one. And like yeah. I said before, I like these kind of spooky pez. So these are ones that I don't I don't like as much, but I do like them. Like, I don't I like the cute. Yeah. And stuff yeah. Or... So. So I'll I'll pick up like eerie like eerie specters when I can't get the chance yeah. stuff stuff like that but but Aaron really prefers like the cutesy pez that's why everything I buy is cutesy pretty much <laughs> because they're most ninety nine percent for her yeah ninety nine point nine it's ninety nine point six maybe it was probably point nine <laughs> at the beginning of the ago. year but now it's ninety nine point six. <laughs> if you have any questions or anything, feel free to put them in the chat. You know want to have a dialogue as much as possible uh you know so if you have any questions about pez you want to see anything from back here yeah um feel so free if you're liking this live stream make sure you hit the thumbs up button oh yeah share it out there's only a three thumbs up three thumbs up more people coming in and out so <laughs> yeah so if you've just if you just showed up, what we do is we start this at 10 a.m. Central and we talk about Pez news of the week, just stuff that's going on in the collection world. This is Greg. I'm Greg. I'm Aaron. It's Aaron. <laughs> and um, and we open up any of the Pez boxes we get from week to week, which has been a lot recently, but we'll probably have to think of stuff to do in the live stream when more boxes don't come. And um, there's still like five or six boxes down here and one of them is really big from sweden oh yeah i don't like dying to open it's been here for like two days now and i don't know how i resist it <laughs> i feel like we have more boxes this doesn't seem like enough boxes did you take the box off the table downstairs yeah, too that's what okay. i got um what if we missed anything oh then we got the other stuff from john and oh yeah we can talk the about the big boxes but i want to do something special with those because okay it's too cool <gasps> what is this yeah what is that is the question what is that is the question what did you buy this on ebay i don't i don't know you cut the names off of these uh, <laughs> you bought them i buy a lot of stuff from Here, facebook people show them on that how good looking is he though They're pretty good looking he's good looking you can't yell at me because i don't have this one <laughs> Aaron told me no more pumpkins. No, but the fact that it's on the red stem, is that even a legit combo? I don't I've know. I've never seen one on a red stem. Probably not, but I like it. Yeah. This is like when you buy the the crazy color pumpkins. Like, like now, like they sell the white pumpkins or the green pumpkins. <laughs> this one might be a head popper. And I, I, I normally don't, like I've said a million times, I don't like head popping Pez. But um, somebody's done popped it. And I like it, <laughs> then I'll buy it. Uh, uh, what? What? Come on, Greg. Wait, I'm just going to open this. Oh, come on. I knew it. Oh, this one's kind of cool, though. Oh, what? Okay, here, put them on here and we'll show you. Put this one on there. You're gonna, this one's got for you. Wait, what is about this? That is oh, that what color is yeah. Is that even real? Okay, these are some weird colored pumpkins for sure. Come on, somebody comment on the pumpkins. What? You know they're awesome. Someone in the comments say that they're awesome. <laughs> Look at those colors. I know. Somebody's... Wait, this has to get it. Wait, if I spin it, because I might need to move them sideways. Give the whole spinneroo. Uh, it's not going to focus on them if I stop. Look at the 
that front one like that's a weird pumpkin color I feel like I feel like I made some progress on the pumpkin department this week <laughs> yeah this is like FEBs of last week when we got nine FEBs okay is that okay that helps this one is a really weird color Katie says, I think those are legit. I'm not an authority, though. Um, Katie says they're right, then they're right. I, well, we'll just accept it. <laughs> uh, I have seen stuff on weird stems, so I don't know, I don't always discount it. Uh, but, um, yes, yeah, I think the red is a little suspect. But, yeah. Nowadays, it's like the stuff comes up and then... Like especially was this USA or not? No, it's not uh, USA. I feel like the USA. Yeah, if the it's on, with the USA stems, you never know. It can be on anything. It's like on all the colors. Or if it's Spain stem or something like that, as Mexico stem. Sometimes that it is can cool. be. That's cool. Um, and when you think about it, why didn't Pez ever like mass produce these heads on different colored stems? But it's the faces that I buy them for. Yeah. And these are some of the most different faces in the collection that you've ever seen yeah i'm 99 percent <laughs> sure i bought these from somebody on facebook yeah wait i feel like you did um i don't know but i feel like it was somebody from facebook i'm pretty much i said like those pumpkins give them to me <laughs> um but uh yeah nice. all right let's go back here Here, there's another, there's two iPhone boxes. Isn't Ooh. that weird? This is a 6S. You know it's not going to be very good. That's old. I just threw away a bunch of our iPhone boxes. That would have been a good uh, way to package and ship stuff. Don't worry, it was Harry Potter. <laughs> Oh man, Amanda just listed a bunch of Pez for sale. Oh come on, okay, don't look at those. There's some good stuff in here. Uh, you can get on these Facebook groups, <laughs> and then every time you open it, there's something you want to buy. Like it's ridiculous. Like there's just so much Pez for sale always. I just opened it up, and I'm like, ah. Oh. Okay, this is the week of weird lots. That Bugs Bunny's not looking too good, but... I don't, even, I don't even know what this is. Guys, I don't even know what this is. Oh. Yeah, I, I really like the two-tone faces, too. I don't know if it's a if it's age and the different plastics or if, it's, if they came from the factory like that, but I still really like them. Mm -hmm. Here, put on the put thing. On the I want to put... I'm going to stack these up. <laughs> Devlin says I'm too late for Amanda. It's 54 minutes ago. Like, too that's too late. late. Uh, well, did you buy anything, John? Yeah, what'd you get? It seems like she has some pretty, pretty good prices, too, lately. I look at those and I'm like, wow. Yeah, she, she, she sells stuff for reasonable prices. This one's not too... He says, yep. <laughs> oh. Well, he says no, then. Maybe the prices are good, but he didn't buy anything. Maybe yeah. he was too late. You have to be fast on these uh, Facebook groups because the prices are typically pretty decent. Yeah. I bought some stuff in the auctions recently that are is just is is just stupid. So uh, we'll see. Next I'll, week. I'll show them on the I'll Ooh. show them on this next week because it's stuff you probably have never mm. seen or will never see unless you're in the Facebook groups. This uh, Daffy is on a Hong Kong stem. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm understand sure why I, have, I bought this. I'm not sure if I have Daffy footless. So let's see purchases. I have the Sylvester with no feet. Oh, so I paid twenty ninety nine with free shipping for this group. Mm. That's why I got it. I think you like to buy the Bugs Bunnies and you hope that they come and they're a little different because yeah. the Bugs Bunnies, like the little ears are usually darker or lighter like you can see here or the little fluff of the white is usually darker or lighter. 
So what do you think about this lot for 20 bucks? Bad deal? About what it's worth. Probably about what it's worth. I think it's about what but it's Sylvester worth. Sylvester has scratched eyes. But I like these Sylvesters because they're not black. They're like a really, 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 really dark blue. What stem is that bug's on? Is it just the yellow, uh, the, This one? Yeah. And Oh, and the head's a little... Something's wrong with the head. I can't... Is that... Some of these... It's Hong Kong Hong also. Hong Kong? Yeah. So, like... But there's something wrong with it. It's not, there's nothing attached in there. Yeah. It's broke. I mean, it's floppy, but it's, you know, it's supposed to be floppy. <laughs> Peppermint Pat wants a Bugs Bunny. That's fine. We have a lot of them. Okay, don't break it even more. I'm not breaking it. I'm just opening it and closing it. Shh. Nothing happened. Who was that? Oh, Sylvester. That one went overboard. <laughs> I'm not doing too that's good in the, on... That's in the nothingness now. I'm going to get demoted. You're going to have... You're, next week, you're going to be the I'll spinner. be on this side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like in the middle, that's too. Fine. It's Just like the it worst spot it can land. Just okay. leave it down there. Oh, this... here, let me open this up. Oh, yeah. I forgot you had one. Did you see John's comment? Yeah, he wanted the cow. I saw that. You need a Vanna White whose sole job is to put things on spinner. Well, Sunshine, if you... Uh... Oh, we can... Caitlin could come do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this... This is another one. Oh, this is another one what? that I, I got accidentally, oh, actually. So... Um, Look at that, there's no patent. Made in Austria. So I wasn't actually going to buy this because I uh, was planning to buy them the, from John. But... Put it on the... Roof. But... Uh, needs a little bath. Yeah, he's dirty. What is this on his little face? I think that's... Is that a melt mark or is that... But it was like starting bid. I think this is shadow. It's a shadow. It was like starting bid at like 80 bucks. So I just I just uh, bid 80 bucks and no one else bid. So Really? Yeah, so now now I have one dirty pilot. It just needs a bath, I think. I'm going to name him Quagmire. Why? Isn't that isn't he a pilot in Family Guy? What? I'm pretty sure he's a pilot. Is he? <laughs> yeah. The giggity giggity. Yeah, giggity giggity. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's a pilot. <laughs> Some of you probably know. Uh, Let's spin it because this is one I haven't seen up close in a long time. So Yeah, so there's another so there's a couple variations. So um and then I need to get the stewardess, which there were there's two variations of stewardess, a dark and a light that I know of. So I have to get them both. Um, you need to take those headphones off and put them on like the Pez girl. Be like Joe. Joe was the cop. That I know for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I think he got. Then he get hurt. Yeah, he got hurt in the line of duty. That's why he's in the wheelchair. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, this one's cool. So this was already this was always on my list, um, but this was kind of a. This is one of those I like to bid on stuff. Like early, and then yeah. I, I, I think it discourages people from bidding. Like I bid immediately <laughs> when it comes Is there out. Anything wrong with it? He's, his head's a little bit floppy, but it's actually not too bad because the head is big. Yeah. Wait, size comparison. Wait. <laughs> oh, with a. <clears throat> it's pretty big. All right. Oh. <laughs> he was, he a, was a pilot. I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. <laughs> Probably. It's, uh, Wait, did we run out of room again? Oh my gosh. We're getting close to the end, I think, are we? Uh, yeah. I know, I love the... Fine. Everything's fine over here. 
You know when you knock over feet, Pez with feet. <laughs> I'm just glad we weren't on this camera. This is this is the stuff you don't see when I edit my own video. That's why I knock them over. <laughs> Uh, okay. What do you mean? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, Aaron. All right. Can you put that one in there I for will, me, please? So I will take care to. of it. I think you just have this subconscious bias to my pumpkins. <laughs> like you have a, something that, that you have something against them. <laughs> you have something against them. Don't worry, none of the pez were harmed. It was mostly the these footed ones that are made to be like thrown around by kids okay bob you have any caspers to sell me or what we got to talk to these collectors these vintage collectors to steal their caspers from them <laughs> look he's just he'll just he'll just look add to the little group here he'll look so happy with his buddies yeah those are neat <laughs> he seems to have got a bump on his head <laughs> in the shape of a lightning bolt. This whole time, Aaron's been Voldemort. <laughs> this is a box from uh, one of my viewers, uh, Sue, and she sent me something here. If I can open it. Oh my gosh. Did I, oh, I didn't undo this side. Oh yeah, this is something we didn't buy. This is something one of you sent us, yeah. which is awesome. I don't know. Is Sue's on here? I haven't seen her yeah, I don't think in the chat, here. so I told her I was going to be opening it in the live stream, so she'll probably watch it later. <laughs> same. Same. Oh, yeah. She sent me the hearts a couple weeks ago, the mini oh, yeah. cards. That's awesome. Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Now you can have an open egg. Found another duplicate that I had for you to open. Always enjoying talking with you. Sue. <laughs> so, nice. Thanks, Sue. <laughs> Keep that. I like Sue cont contributing to the uh, box opening, so it gives me a break. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice of her. So she watched my Easter egg video that I made last Easter, and so she wanted to send me this Easter egg, the gold one, because I have most of them open and in the tubes, but I didn't have this one open and in the tubes, so I, I think I just had this one in the tube. I need to double check. But uh, now I can open this one and display it on my shelf. That's great. So this one's really cool. This was a Walgreens exclusive for 2019, if you can see the date. So it's a gold egg. Those spots are not on the egg. That's, those are spots on the packaging or dots. So I think these are really cool. That'd be a cool variation if Pez did. They put the dots on the Pez next, next year <laughs> and just change the date. I guess there are some dots. Wait, no, there are some dots on the front. <laughs> just not on the stem. The big dots are on the egg, but just yeah. in the front, not in the back. Yeah. And then she also sent me... <laughs> Look at that. So I need to check. I don't remember, but I don't think I had this one open either. I don't think so. The little chicken egg. So I, I really appreciate this because I like these eggs and they look so good lined up together on the shelf so it'd be fun to add these are you deep into your easter videos now oh yeah yeah so i thursday or just this past thursday i released the mini easter pez video which was a lot of fun to make when are you which doing I a video for these shopping. coming up really soon look at these everybody so there's a bunch of chicken eggs sitting there in that video maybe this week or next week really soon because i need to just take time and Take them all down and make the video. <laughs> I love this. It's a chicken egg on an egg. <laughs> it's like, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Pez is like, so I'll cute. take this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. That's funny. Here, you can open this, and I'm gonna. And then there's one gigantic box. I, I feel like we're missing some stuff. We're gonna have to move some of the stuff out of the way because. Um, I don't feel like this is everything. We didn't get a Laspina package. Oh, and we and John's pa think... John's packages were not showing in the live chat, live stream. Devlin. Oh yeah. 
I think. Uh... Oh, you can open this one if you want. Mm. Here, I'll just give it to you. Mm. <laughs> oh, nice. Did I buy these? No, I bought these. <gasps> what? Okay, this is cool. This is a cool variation. Okay, these are cool. This one's also really cool. This is a sideways icy bear. This is what Aaron tells me. Hey, do you know that these come sideways? Because she has no. them right here. That would be really cool if they came no, sideways. No, we I'm like, see them at John's in his collection. And then you're always like, look, those come sideways. And then I was looking on eBay and I was like, look, Greg, you can buy them sideways. No, I know. I'm saying I didn't know that you wanted them sideways <laughs> until recently. Yeah. Because you showed me cool. this one right okay, wait, here. I have a... Like this one right here is the panda sideways. And I'm like, oh, do you really want those? If you already have them, do you really want them sideways too? She's like, yes. I'm like, okay. Look at the color difference. This is this is the one we just got. I got a little sideways one. <laughs> but look at the like how yellowed it is. That's why like whenever you find these old icy bears and they're really white, like they're hard to find white because they always yellow. Yeah. Here. Or a lot of times their little snout beard area, whatever you call it. <laughs> comes like in an off-white it's not supposed to be white always i don't think because there's a lot of them that have like the off-white color so i did bring up a bunch of my icy bears and i put them behind me here because i'm trying to get more variations of them okay this is super cool look at this one wait i don't have okay, this is new to me it's like a lavender purple that's super cool wait look at this Look at the. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this this one here is the one I just opened, and this darker purple one is the one I already had. But even like the head color is more white on this new one. This is super cool. <laughs> I love these icy bears like a lot. The more, oh my gosh, what is this one? Another Ooh, look how look at the color on this. Yeah, I'm trying to see who I bought these from because on eBay I think. This white one I just opened. And then this one here, it's more yellowed even. And then, oh, this one I wanted too. Wait, what else is in there? This was an extra for you. And then this, I don't have either. A Scrooge McDuck on a light pink stem. Super cool. <laughs> oh, this one's got a big old, uh, uh, it's fine. Well, they told me that they were bent, they were a little bit bent up, but the pink stem, Mr. Uncle Scrooge is really cool. Yeah. I don't know if John wants me talking about it, but when you go to his collection, <laughs> see his collection, he has a whole bunch of these European Pez on these, I guess most of them are probably on this card, but it's usually the Disney Pez. They all have like crazy colored stems. Yeah. So after seeing those. Now we want, now we like, have to get them. I always am inspired to buy the Pez I see. Like whenever you see, like you can, you can look for so many Pez online, but you see like the same stuff over and over. But, Whenever you actually see another collector's, you know, display of Pez and they have some unique items in it, then it gives you some ideas of, you know, what to look for that you might not normally see, I think. And that's what happens. <laughs> this is super cool. Here, we're going to put this here. And then this one I already had. These icy bears... Come on. They come on all types of cards. This one's got Santa, an icy bear, and a snowman. And then they also come on these star cards. Yeah, I can't remember. I bought these. I bought these from. I want to put these over here. Man. So we got to make sure to write down who's on the box. Okay, for next, I'll do that next week. Because I feel like people put stuff in here and then I can't say thank you properly to uh, them. I feel like this was an e this was an eBay buy? No, this was in the... I thought I picked it out. No. 
I didn't pick it up. I don't think so. Extra Puzz Miss Piggy variation with eyelashes. Happy Puzzing. I th I'm pretty sure this was. I'm pretty sure this was an eBay buy. Was it? Okay. All right. Well. Maybe not. <laughs> well, if we mi if we missed it, thank you. If you're watching. Uh, apologies. Yeah, next week I'll make sure I run on the package. Yeah, see, no, it's not. No? I didn't buy it, no. Well, look in your messages. That's what I was doing, love. And you don't see it? No. Oh. Not to, because what happens is, is when people put these pests for sale, it goes into like a special marketplace chat, and it's a real pain in the butt trying to figure figure out who's uh, what. You don't see it. This is cool. This is a Miss Piggy. I think, oh, maybe That's this was from of, Ben. Oh, yeah, there was one from Ben Tempe. Yeah, wait. Yeah, this might. I think this was from him. Now that you say that, I remember the box shape, because not. I don't usually recognize the names always, but I remember his name being on. Yes, there. this from this is from Ben Timpy. So thanks, Ben. Appreciate yeah, it. Glad thanks. I was able to figure it out. Thanks for the extra, Ooh. Miss Piggy. That's really cool. This is cool. I need a. He put that specifically in there for you. Ah, thanks, Ben. It has eyelashes. So here, let's put it on here. We can show everybody. This is one of the many variations of a Miss Piggy Pass. <laughs> so it has the little eyelashes. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that up close. Yeah. It looks so good. Now that light is really helping. Uh -huh. Like I really, the light is doing a good job. Miss Piggy's just putting on her makeup in the light. Okay, I'm putting this piggy here. This. Yeah, if you, if anybody has this, it's not on. Yeah. If anybody has, oh dang, come on. <laughs> if anybody has this icy bear open on the like light lavender stem, it's not a USA stem, by the way. But if anybody has it open, yeah. Or they have like a, or you have a perfect card, so we could open this one, or. Um, let us know because we want to add it to the icy bear display down here. Yeah. These, whenever you see uh, the stripes on the cards and then these like shrink wrapped, these are all Pez International Pez. So all you have to do is whenever you see one that's, I mean, the shrink wrap, USA doesn't make It's like these. a weird blue, like a blue tinted. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. That's super cool. It's got a weird uh, blue color to it. I looked through a bunch of my Pez looking for these. And I did find one panda. I think it's sitting next to you over there. It looks kind of white on the on here, but it's definitely got a blue tint. Yeah, it's blue. These these ones with so if you have feet and you have ones with the colored sleeves, these are harder to find. I mean, they're out there. You'll find them. And I don't think it really makes it worth any more, but maybe a couple dollars if that. But most of the time, when you have footed pez. I mean, it always just comes with these. Oh yeah, put uh, these next to it so people can see. <laughs> see that? There you go. That's a good. Yeah. Good comparison. Okay. Nice call out, Katie. Appreciate that. We yeah, that's a good. Uh, yeah, that's a good catch because I'm all about the sleeves, but I didn't even think. Whenever I see footed ones, I never. I mean, I open them most of the time, but. Like, I never thought to even look in there. We do look... Uh, oh, and the candy pusher thing is like that light blue. Yeah, we do look very closely at vintage sleeves. So yeah. um, we've got one coming in next week. I'll just give you a little spoiler. It has an orange sleeve. What? I don't even... What pe oh, We'll find out. Yeah, I don't even has know an what orange pen sleeve. Is. Okay, we're going to need some room. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> maybe... Uh, here, maybe take the vintage... Um, here, let me just put this up here for now. <laughs> we need some, uh, music. Oh, music why we, why people wait. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Organizing pairs. Organizing pairs. I put these over there. I don't want to knock those over into the. Uh, okay, I'll put these you can leave them on the screen. Okay, okay. Well, you know, like, so can I feel crowded. Way. I can't even use my mouse. Okay, because this is a big box. What do you think's in here? I have no idea. You bought you bought that one. 
<laughs> Listen, I like this Wait, whole. Uh... I want to stand up. If I stand up, you won't see me. No, oh, you have to do it sitting down. This came from the. That wasn't me. This came from the Post Queen of Sweden. Nice. We'll never be the Pez Queen of our Queen or King of our city because there's like I could be the Pez Queen of Saint Louis. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> queen. Maybe. Yeah. The, you can't be the king. There's no there's already king. Yeah. There's no there's no chance. It's like there's no chance to be the Pez King of our city. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. Uh, there's stuff in here with it. Okay. You've been dying for this. I looked in the. I, sorry, everyone. I looked in the box. <laughs> which Wait. which icy bear? The uh, the lavender one. Bob. Let's. This one. If you have that in, uh, you know, like there's two colors. Call it the light purple. <laughs> Here you go, Aaron. Oh, hey, Paul. I think is, there, is this your first comment? Welcome. Veronica supplies the world. <laughs> That's so true, and she's so helpful too. Like, I know. She's so I'll nice. I'll ask her questions. She probably gets annoyed by me, but I'm like, uh, she's a good place to buy the European yeah. stuff, and she doesn't like upcharge the stuff too much which i appreciate yeah i mean people need to make money but uh she's got good prices and the stuff comes pretty quick from sweden like a couple weeks unlike some countries it takes like a month to get here unless you buy stuff from japan it's like three days and that amazes me i know japan's shipping is oh. they got it wire tight I have been looking for this. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, this is Peter Pez Panda on it. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if this is just something to hold it or. She probably knew you would like it. Okay, so back during like Pez on the River convention. Uh, I was at the virtual pest convention, I think, for live streaming, and they were going through people's rooms, and I saw this rack in someone's room, and then I reached out to the person, and they were like, oh, no, I just sold it. So ever since that day, I was like, I have to have one of these. I think I asked everybody, like, overseas, like, do you have this? Do you have this? Is that going to sit right behind you? Yeah. So this is the idea. I'll probably be able to put more on it, even. So this is... Uh, A rack. That is so cool. And it's for the tabletop. And I wanted it because. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening? What is happening? This is why I bought it. Okay. I'm walking on all the paper. So I have all these panda gathering pez and I thought the display probably will hold more than this but I thought I could display these hanging off. Oh that's good. And I want to put them here I want to put the display here behind me like right in this area. Yeah that way everyone watching can also enjoy it. Yes. Because Thanks John. I... Yes. <laughs> Thanks Patty. <laughs> this uh it's so cool. And like this rack, I think, I don't know, it's in the Pez uh, International brochure. And I think only people who like deal in Pez or if you buy Pez in, you know, like bulk or whatever, if you're like a Pez dealer that you buy Pez from Pez International, you get this. Or I don't know, I'm, I imagine that they probably buy like a rack of, you know, Care Bears or whatever, and then they get the rack because that's how they are here in the US like so if you 
distribute Pez or what do you call it? Like if you have a store and yeah. you buy the giant rack full of Pez, it comes full of the Pez on cards and you get the rack and then you'll see people sell them on eBay. But these are hard to get. And so I asked like everybody overseas, I'm like, do you have one? Do you have one? And then finally it was in the brochure. So I was able to like send a picture. <laughs> and then Veronica was like, I have one, but I have to find a box to ship it. So finally, maybe a week or two later, she found a box that was big enough. So I really appreciate it. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, so also I got yeah, I that. my water. Also I got um, this one. It's the Crystal Cheer Bear. This is the Pez International card. Wait. Did I just take my other one down? I don't know. I had it in here for a long time. The Pez USA version, but... Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't see it. You can go back. It's like last week, I think, I made a video showing these uh, Care Bear Pez. So you can go back and see the USA card if you want, or you can just look it up online. But this is pretty cool. And then... Uh, also, you didn't have that. Well, no, it's sitting right in front of us. <laughs> the bronze snowman. We see it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, I just recently saw this. Thing. I don't know. Uh, wait, wait. Is that the same? I don't honestly remember buying this, but maybe I did. Is that the same card? Yeah. Oh, this is from uh, uh, Mario. Mario, I think his name. You can open and, this one uh, then Slovenia. because this one's got some dents. Oh, well, no, I already have it open. Oh. And then, uh, I don't honestly remember buying this, but maybe I did. And then, uh, okay. this, oh no, this one's got a little rip in it. That's fine. This is the Dumbo. And this is the European version, so I actually have, wait. I don't have a footed one. Yeah, oh. you have a footed one. No, I got this from... I think I got this from her last time. Did I open this recently? I'm pretty sure. I don't think so. I don't remember. Oh, no, I got this from John. Yeah, you got this from John. Like the other... last week. Okay, no. I got this one. Wait, is this one we got? We just bought. Oh, yeah, gosh, I think I so. Yeah, I think so, for sure. Okay. <laughs> For sure. And then uh, I had this one on the way. That's what it was. This is on the Halo car. See how there's like a big like white burst behind the head? So that's cool. I like this. And then, so this is the European version. And then I don't, wait. There's this yellow one. <laughs> there's this uh, yellow one. But... This is like the, I guess the USA version of it. Well, that's, at least that's what I usually see. Because usually you see the the red ones on the European cards. Interesting. But I haven't done a lot of research to figure out if the yellow is USA only, but they come on two stem colors at least. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe somebody who knows. Oh, point of, yeah, point of sale, sale rack. So... I need to put all my pandas on here and then maybe some other European cards. I think it's super cool. <laughs> so. put, your, put your Dumbo back on there. Oh yeah. And since I like collecting the Pez and I keep them on cards, it's always a good way to display them because it's hard to figure out how to display your carded Pez. Okay, real quick. I bought more stuff from her. <laughs> this is a, uh, look, Cor, Cor, I never can say this one. It's the little parrot bird and it's like a strawberry. Oh yeah. I had these, um, but they're on card. <laughs> I didn't do that. And then, uh, there should be another one in this series but she had two of them for sale and then these are like the smaller head ones so there's the same birds again they have larger heads 
as well. And then also, uh, I've been trying to finish my Hello Kitties. So this is one I didn't have. This is a Pez International one, I think, only. You didn't have that one, huh? Yeah, so there's ones that... I think it's a blue flower. It's like flip-flop. I think a blue flower with a pink stem, I want to say. I can't remember. Yeah, I, don't think I look at here. these Hello Kitties and there's like a million of them. They're not a million, but there's a lot. And then also the dragon fruit mascot. <laughs> so I have some of these mascots and I want to open them. But I was just telling Greg a week or two ago and he's like, well, maybe you should buy them loose and then either sell your one on card or... Because usually I would buy two, I guess. One to keep open. One to open and one to keep on card. But a lot of these mascots are worth a lot more when they're on the card. So I kind of hate opening it. So she had this one for... I don't know, it was like $12 or something. So I was like, add that to the box. <laughs> and then this, uh, I guess she thought I might like this. It says Peter Pez Panda Donald Duck Kosher Pez. I need to ask her what this is. It looks like it came. Oh, yeah. So when you buy carded Pez, I know you get them from Pez USA. These, these cards are probably... Oh, am I fit? Let's see, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So whenever you buy, car like, carded Pez from... I know you get them from Pez USA. This looks like a... This is probably a Pez International, but they'll stack the cards in these boxes. So sometimes if you buy a bunch of carded Pez at once, they'll keep them in the box. So that's probably what this is. So now we need to get kosher uh, Donald Ducks to fill that box up. Yeah. <laughs> well, Peter... Why does it say Peter Pez Panda? Oh, maybe that's what she had in there. I don't know. Oh. And then this was a dollar. <laughs> so we've been buying a lot of uh, display boxes. And then this is the hippity hoppity one. It doesn't have the ugly egg baby on it. <laughs> but I thought this is cool because a lot of times the graphics on these boxes are drawings they're not actually like photography so uh, i was like this is cool and plus easter's coming up and we've been buying a lot of uh you know like we got you bought some easter pez mm -hmm. in these bags and so i thought this was cool it was a dollar and i was like let's throw that in <laughs> and then you got a ton of stuff wait when, whenever you buy stuff from overseas you're better off well, since the box was so big, the shipping to ship this here. You buy a lot of stuff. Yeah, you buy buy some stuff and then put it in because let's uh let's let's show the spinner first okay. and then you can clean that off and add these to it. Here. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> oh. There you go, peppermint pat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. So these are just some, I thought, fill some holes. And then I got, let's take a uh, Hello Kitty. Pa this is painted ear and nose removable eyes. Oh yeah. So this one, I didn't have a removable eye MMM panda. So that's why I got this one. You mean, oh, is that painted on right there? Yeah. Ah. Those are painted. Those aren't Those aren't whistles either sitting over there. Those are just regular pandas. I mean on the card. Oh, on the card, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought that was cool. And when you buy stuff from Veronica, she always, she's good at like showing the variations. <laughs> so that's cool. And then, uh, you can put it back on this. These are a bunch of newer modern Pez. You want to open that? If you want me to. Yeah. <laughs> so like she'll package stuff like, I guess it's probably more for her. <laughs> I mean, how do you find them if you don't? Yeah. Label them. Oh, 
So they're wrapped up really tight. It's like that she thinks they might escape. It's good though because in shipping, when you ship these and they're not tight, they'll probably break if they're next to each other. Like the feet can break. That's a lot of work. <laughs> I'll show mine while you're doing that. So these are, these are minions, and they say summer vacation minion. So take that, this is a, like a bright neon pink stem. Okay, maybe I need to move these? Yeah, move those. And then uh, a neon orange. And then, I don't know the names of these minions. I have to research it. <laughs> this is another one. It's like a neon blue, or a really bright blue color. I guess neon blue. Here, put it on that one, please. Right, here we go. And then, and then they come with these little stickers. And then you could put the stickers on the stems, I guess. But these are Pez International release only. And these are pretty hard to find her. I never see them for sale. So she had them for sale and I was like, put those in the box. <laughs> put those in the box. <laughs> you want to put it back on this one? Yeah. And then also there's this Peanuts or Snoopy series. This is Lucy. And of course, Snoopy. Snoops. <laughs> and then uh, Woodstock. And uh, can't have them without Charlie Brown. But here, put, put it on that one again. Please. I will once you get it loaded up. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of pets here today. Minions are different eyes, mouths overall. Is it? I haven't like uh, looked at them too close compared to the other ones, but I always would see these every once in a while pop up. And then I need to make a, I want to make a minion Despicable Me video. And I was wanting to get these to add to that video. So now that I have these, Look forward to a Despicable Me slash Minions Pez video coming up soon. <laughs> so these Hot are these. Snoopy ones, and these also come in the the Snoopy House box set. I'm pretty sure these are the same ones. I need to look at those up close too as well, but she had these loose. And I was wanting to open my Snoopy box set, the Peanuts box, and then I couldn't bring myself to open it either. So I was like, she had them loose for a pretty good price. So I was like... Look at those. What what did you pay? Do you remember? I need to look. She her prices are like really reasonable on like everything. It's okay. We don't need to look now. I don't need to look. If anybody ever has any questions on like what we pay on stuff, just let us know. Cause I bought the I bought these a couple weeks ago, if not long, might probably even longer than that because it took her a couple weeks just to find a box to ship in. <laughs> Okay, and then this, is that, is nope, that it? Got these. Oh yeah, <gasps> these. So trying to finish more Hello Kitties, just be you. And then, uh, be happy. <laughs> and Hello Kitty. So this one here with the crystals, Pez International for sure. And, uh, hmm, I can't 
can't remember. <laughs> one of these is Pez International only, and one of them is Pez USA, but Pez International gets all three of these. I can't remember what one it is now. Uh, I look at these, uh, I think we, I think Pez USA is the light stem. But I want to make a, a Hello Kitty video soon too, because I think trying to get them all and I'm trying I think I'm getting pretty close to having them all now I'm sure there's always like one or two that I'm missing but this is pretty cool Pez paper product okay put that on there look at the texture on the crystal Oh yeah, that's cool. I kind of like to put them up here. Get like a fingerprint texture. <laughs> Pretty neat. Yeah. And it seems like the kids over on TikTok, I say kids, but the TikTok people like love Hello Kitty. So anytime I can show Hello Kitty pose over there, they just they just love it. So so I'll make a good uh, TikTok even up in the future here. I'll have to show these off. It's crazy because it seems like Hello Kitty is always a Pez that when I do make these short videos over on TikTok or here on YouTube, the people who don't normally collect Pez, they're the ones that are like, I used to have a Hello Kitty, like, like a lot of them. Like that's probably got to be a really good seller for Pez. This... <laughs> is a Kung Fu Panda poster. I need to flatten it out. But I think I need to find a frame for this. Yeah, that's very cool. Since I like pandas and bears, it's a... Uh, you probably could get out your Google Translate. <laughs> it's not English. It is cool, though. But I thought this was cool because it shows the actual... Pez and does it have like a mail away thing down there? Looks like it. So I thought that was cool. It's it's for something for the movie. Or I guess I mean these are movie Pez, but I think it was something I don't know what it says. I'll have to Google translate it. We could talk about it later. Yeah. <laughs> Paul says, missing one hello and it's the hibiscus flower variation. No hope as they need to be side by side. Do you know about that variation? It's a hibiscus flower. What color what color is it? Is it not is it not is this I guess this is the hibiscus flower. Or is it just like a slight color variation? I can't remember. I looked at I looked at these Hello Kitties when I was shopping for these and that's the last time I looked at the Hello Kitties. <laughs> so I had to go through, I took some pictures of all my stuff and I was looking for I knew this one for sure. There is actually there is one more I'm thinking of right now. I can't remember what it is either, but I know there's another one for sure I'm missing. Cause I know I asked uh Veronica for it and she didn't have it. <laughs> so I think that's it. There's a huge pile of trash next to me. Did we open everything up? I think so. I feel like we're missing some stuff. I think it's alright. I think all right. you haven't... You you bought stuff, but I think it's slow getting here. Yeah, I think it is too. The, uh... Or you bought stuff like at the beginning of the week and it's just not going to make it. I thought I would have... So I bought some of the mini... Easter Pez on Pez.com. I broke down and bought the like random assortment ones because I can't find them in the stores around here. And I just shot the the mini Easter Pez video. All the all my Easter Pez are sitting over there by Greg. And uh, I finally broke down. And those were supposed to come yesterday, but it got pushed back till today. So look forward to those. I don't know. I might make a video opening those. I think it might be fun. Or I might save them for the live stream. Depends what I get to, because there are a lot of Easter Pez videos I want to make, because I'm on an Easter Pez kick right now. <laughs> I like the Easter Pez a lot. I think I like them, like the holidays of 
Pez. I think the Easter Pez are some of my favorites. Yeah, so I think I know why the boxes seem a little bit. I mean, they don't seem light. This is perfectly There's a great. Lot of Pez in but front of what us. I'm thinking of is, is is I bought two pretty big, two pretty big lots uh, um, of vintage. Mm -hmm. So we got to figure out what we're going to show and what we're not going to show and all that stuff. But um, but those aren't they're they're not coming yet. Or they're not here. No, they'll be well. One one of them is from John, right? We have a box from him that we not that we're not haven't shown yet because you're going to show it to. Oh me. yeah. And we have, we've got. Remember, we got two things from him. Two big boxes. Yeah. Um, that we, I think one of them we're going to do on the live stream, aren't we? But we, you said you wanted to make a video of one. Yeah, I want to do like something fun with it. Maybe show the video during the live stream, like to introduce it. Yeah. I have an idea. Yeah, so we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're gonna, gonna do, do that for sure because I want to. We're gonna do some pro so, high production value stuff here. That one will be there, be a live stream or a real video. I think the live stream will be fun though. But there's two big there's two big boxes down there. I didn't know what you were gonna do with one is like uh, the display one. The display one and one. Well, one is I like cleaned out one. an area down by my big display so I can put that. Are you gonna so make I'm gonna make a, a video out of that. You're gonna make it that a regular video. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I okay. think it deserves a regular video to live on my channel forever. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. And then we can put it. We'll put it back it's here cool. for a live stream. Yeah. And then we can talk about it if people, because I doubt anyone's ever seen it before. It's super cool. Like, well, if you live overseas, you might. But I doubt it. Because USA collectors, people here. <laughs> um. So Paul says that flower he thinks is a slight variation of that one. So you don't have them all now. Mm. You need one more. Yeah. No, I think I'm missing. No, I think I'm still missing a couple. I'm just. It's getting closer. They're hard to find, especially the Euro the European and the international ones. So he's just getting three more of this year's new ones. Oh, like the yoga ones. I got those. I need to make a video with those too, because they are new. Yeah. And then Pez USA is just getting the one out of that group, so I don't know why they can't just do the same, but it makes it, I guess, more fun if you're collecting. Yeah. Than, it gives you something to look for. Yeah, it helps you with the hunt. <laughs> yeah. So, so Plus you get to make fun friends, Pez collecting friends overseas. And yeah. Like people I wouldn't normally talk to, you know. The world is tremendously small these days. Like, I have oh, friends all over the world. Yeah. Well, you talk. You have a lot of work friends all over, like, because of work. Yeah. Well, that's how you meet people. Yeah. typically. No, I'm mean, just saying, like, that helps. Like, I collect. You know, like, I talk to pest collectors around the world, so it gives you an uh, opportunity to talk to people. And then since you work with people around the world a lot, yeah, it gives you an opportunity more than most people to just talk to people. I think. So what's on the plan? What's the plan for this week? Like, what is your video? <laughs> have you decided yet? Uh. Well, I think uh, I don't. Know, I used to save my really like big videos for Sunday because I think I get a lot of views on Sunday, and then now that we're doing these, I don't do the Sunday video anymore. So Thursday's videos are kind of like I get views on them, but it seems slow until the weekend on them usually. So you, <laughs> so I don't know. I might do those chicken eggs on Thursday. And then I have the the mini Pez eggs to open the random ones. I think that'll be fun. And I also want to show the FEBs, which I need to figure out the colors of all those heads. So yeah, that so when I talk about them, I can compare them in a good way that will help people, I think. Because the FEBs are so hard to tell the colors, especially when you're shopping online. And so... So you're going to do an FEB video. You're going to do a chicken egg yeah. video. And then the mini... Easter Pez in the egg, the random one. Oh, and I think I might do a bunny Pez video just overall because I should have all of them. So is it Easter videos until Easter, basically? When's Easter? So. <laughs> in a month? Wait, is I think April. Yeah. yeah. So I might spread out some of these. I do have the new Hello Kitties I want to show you. I do have, oh my gosh, what's it called? The new hockey puck? <laughs> uh... What's that one called? It has like a little crown on it, which is a different color. It looks, it's cool. Like I didn't expect it to be the color that it came. So that's going to be a fun one. It's like a promotional one for our store over in Austria. Can't think of the name. It's like starts with an L. And then, uh, um, I have, 
Let's see. I'm trying to think what else. So, I have a list of I have a list of videos I have I want to make. So it's uh I might spread out those Easter ones a little bit. Yeah. But what, is it going to be weird taking the the FEBs and the chicks out of here? Yes. <laughs> I could leave some of them in here. I do like them a lot. So. Yeah, I mean, especially the chicks and eggs with the no hats. Those have to be some of my favorite vintage pets that I have. You have to wait to see one of those up close in the video. I'm not going to show them now. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is there anything else that we want to see? If you haven't watched uh, Aaron's Thor video, you should. Because um, there's a lot of good information in that video. Yeah, the Thor Pez, you can't see them, but I moved them up there. But I did put a poll over on Instagram saying, should I keep those in the studio? And everybody voted yes. So I'm going to have to move them until maybe like one of the squares or put them down farther. <laughs> but I was putting the little mini Pez back. So I need to find a spot for them. I need to take some more stuff out of here. Like last Saturday, we spent a couple hours cleaning and reorganizing like the shelves and bringing some Pez down and brought a couple things up. Seems like after we get all these Pez every week, we end up like cleaning them and I guess this would be, Rearranging this would make fun stories or, I don't yeah, know. Like, yeah, for sure. Um, also rearranging and cleaning because this place gets to be a mess really fast <laughs> also we bought two pez displays we bought not pez displays but displays for pez oh, yesterday that's coming tuesday so tuesday so we'll we'll make a video putting those together and starting to um starting from, to put stuff on them from ikea yeah we bought but they're two different ones yeah two different ones so we don't know exactly what we're gonna like but but we got two things from ikea that are basically like glass display cabinets yeah and uh we're gonna put them downstairs so slowly but surely the basement is turning into like a pez <laughs> store most of it is half of it is pez already <laughs> yeah yeah but it's it's filling up yeah and uh the part i'm worried about with those displays is that they're they have doors usually i don't have stuff with doors so we're gonna have to figure out a way the stuff doesn't fall over like when you're opening doors depends on how rickety it is but if they have shoes and yeah it should be all right the shoes and then if we put them in maybe some displays even i was also thinking of just taking the doors off yeah you know what i mean like i don't think it needs doors like we don't have any like small kids maybe or just don't put them on <laughs> it does help with the dust that's the only good part i think of the doors king octo says hello i'm back hey king octo you have any pop pez <laughs> um so stay tuned for that follow aaron on her social medias we post your pop displays yeah i should make a video showing my display area and put it on youtube because i haven't uh is there a pop here anymore? there's a bunch up there up on top what? the uh oh up here the quisp and the quake <laughs> those are cool i keep them up here because I'll let you show one. There's a... This is a Quisp. Or, yeah, this is a Quisp. There you go. The Quisp. It's limited edition, but... They came packaged in, like, these giant Pez candy boxes. And then you got a t-shirt in there. And then you got the Quisp. And I wear my t-shirt quite often, so... <laughs> yeah, this is the only one I, I can get to because there's, like, vintage and kind of expensive Pez in front of the others, but... Yeah. Um, I have a lot of Pop Pez. Like, not all of them because I don't have the ones that cost, like... Like the gold know, like Freddy? The super expensive ones, the $500 or more. Or usually if it's, like, 100 or more. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't mind spending a lot of money on vintage Pez, but some of these Pop Pez, when they cost a lot, I'm like, I don't know. I get a little weary spending a lot of money on those because, I mean, Pez, there's been Pez collectors for, I've been collecting Pez for over 25 years now. We're off 25. But there's people who've been collecting Pez for longer than me, and it's always been a thing. In Funko, I worry about it a little bit because it kind of seems like a fad, maybe? I don't know. It's I newer. I hate to say that, it but it's it something newer. The, it doesn't yeah. have, it has way more collectors than Pez, but I just hope that Funkos are as collectible, you know, 10 years from now or whatever, 20 years from now. 
And I think that the reason that a lot of these Funko Pop Pez go for so much is because there's also Funko collectors. I should have said that first, I guess. Funko collectors that want them, you know, just as much or more than a Pez collector. So it drives the price up even more, I think. Because Funko and Funko collector collectors are used to like these limited edition exclusive releases. Um, that Pez, the Pez companies just don't really do that. So it's just a different type of like collecting world, I think, there. So I I worry a little bit that they won't hold their value down the road, but I think that they will. Hopefully they will. <laughs> yeah. In a lot of collectibles, and I don't know if, I don't know if this will be the case, but a lot of times these things start off and they go way up in price. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. ten years from now, they're fifty bucks yeah. instead of five hundred. Yeah. So, um, and just I like depends. Funko Pops. Like, I have quite a few Funko Pops. I yeah. have to keep myself from buying them because I usually just buy, like, the Star Wars or Mandalorian ones. It's a Marvel and DC ones. Patty says, did you get yes. the... <laughs> De what is it? Dead Off? Yes. Dead Off? We got w one... That's one of the ones we got. The other one has a interesting name, too. <laughs> yeah. The other one is, is bigger, <laughs> uh, has feet. It's black. And it's it black. has glass. It's glass. Um, it's very descriptive. <laughs> yeah, but it's like 36 inches wide or 34 it's, inches wide, something like that. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. Um, so, yeah. So I this is supposed the, to be nicer, too. So for people who, I know I could show this to you on the, but that's, you can't really see it too much, but that's what it looks like. It's just like a glass. Yeah. Cabinet. Google that Detolf on Ikea and it'll come up. Yeah, let me see if it's I can turn It's pretty down popular. The, a lot of Pez collectors. There you go. Oh, there you turn go. down the brightness a little. A lot of pest collectors get these and use them. And then people put lights in the top. Yeah. And it looks really good. So this is like, what is it, like $129.99. So they're not tremendously expensive, but it just depends on, like... That's a pretty good price for, like, a bookshelf display case. Especially because it's not, you know, the particle board or whatever. It's like glass. Some kind of glass. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. So but, Paul, Paul uh, says, I just found that out with the Wade Betty boot prices have dropped. Mm. This is, it's just a common thing. Yeah. And I mean, not to say that even Pez won't drop in price. You don't know. Yeah. yeah. Anything. That's why I like making these videos and trying to help bring the community together for Pez collectors. So, you know, hopefully there will be a future in collecting Pez. Yeah. Yeah, get some new collectors. Yeah. yeah, so like if you are new collecting, if you ever have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I have people, you know, send me messages over on Instagram or Facebook and sometimes they're like, oh, should I, you know, is it okay if I message you? I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Like any questions or if you see anything cool, you know, let me know because it's not just about me and my Pez. It's about, you know, the whole community and bringing everybody together, I think, you know, to keep the, the Pez... Uh, you know, community, you know, help, help you guys collect Pez. It's not just about my stuff. <laughs> and I enjoy, uh, I enjoy talking to people about the Pez too. So get the kids collecting. Yes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yes. Drive those prices up. Yeah. It's fun because a lot of times I'll get messages from families and they're, you know, the mom or the dad message me and they're like, Oh yeah, it's like a, you know, we collect with our kids or, you know, they, you know, like their son or daughter collects and, you know, I think they're in it too, but I think it's more about the kids sometimes. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It, everybody needs stuff to do. Like you gotta have something yeah. to do. And, uh, these pest collecting, it's easy to do with families cause you can go out to the store and buy all kinds of current Pez. You don't have to spend a lot of money. It's something you can put on the shelf and display. And it's a lot of fun characters that you might watch in movies or TV shows that, you know, you can appreciate and it's fun. Yeah. You oh, give yeah. Them out. Yeah. <laughs> we gave out like six boxes, like 72. It was a lot mm -hmm. of full-size pest dispensers. We bought them on Amazon and uh, the kids around here just like loved them. And then even the parents were like, oh, you should get, get that one. Like get that My yeah. Little Pony with the crystal. And I'm like, I'm like, you can have one too. Like, it's not just for the kids. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely do that again this year. And and uh, I hope I can grow that. I mean, I don't mind. Um, 
I don't mind, you know, giving out better stuff for Halloween. Yeah. I mean, it's just something we try to do for the kids in the neighborhood. Like, yeah. if they ring our doorbell, we buy whatever they're <laughs> Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or... Girl Scout or, or, you know, gymnastics or whatever the heck they're doing. Like The coupons. <laughs> I buy it. I'm a sucker for it. Oh. <laughs> Anyone need a coupon book? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. I like, uh... I like seeing people who don't click pose, like see a pez and they get pretty excited about it so yeah, they yeah. don't have to click but they appreciate it yeah that's what you you should have uh you should have built easter baskets and you could have uh uh sold them or give them away or something yeah. like just wrap them up like put some febs in there pre-packaged easter baskets it's <laughs> a fun idea it'd be like Here's one for kids with nut allergies. Yeah. Here's one for kids that don't like chocolate. Here's one for... Yeah. I'm pretty sure when I was younger, I used to get Pez in my Easter basket. Like, that's one thing I kind of remember. And also, like, just probably like Santos or whatever. But I remember, like, maybe that's why I like the Easter Pez so much. Reminds me of Easter. <laughs> so should we, should we end this live stream with the same question we always ask? What? Which of these oh. <laughs> that we got today... Was your favorite? All of the above. What, what about uh, you? So hard. Oh my gosh. Well, my Pez rack. Does that count? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to see this uh, behind me. So your Pez rack is your favorite out of all of these? Okay, non Pez dispenser. Uh, I don't know. I really like the frog whistle. The creature? That's cool, even though it's not cute. And this chip. The and the snow lights great. are really cool, I yeah. think. I mean, the Bugs Bunny and stuff we've had before. I think uh, the Frog Whistle and the Snow Whites. I like that chip. The chip? Yeah. The chip is definitely <laughs> one of my favorites right here. It's cute. And it's orange. And it has a top hat. Yeah. Paul says Snow White. Yeah, the Snow Whites are really nice. Devlin says Snow Whites. <laughs> That's cool. My, I, I have to say, <laughs> I like the, I like you the, just bought that. yeah, I like the skull, but I also really oh, like yeah. these pumpkins. The pumpkins are cool. I really like these pumpkins. So I like those a lot. And, um, the, I, I think this elephant being a mm -hmm. kind of a funny shade of orange is also oh, very I like interesting. This elephant a lot too. Yeah. So we got two. Hard just to pick one. We got two elephants that I think are kind of funny shades of orange, or and or a funny shade of orange here, and uh, this green one, aqua, whatever whatever color it is. So those are cool. You know, we just slowly add to the. I'm not trying to buy much variations anymore, but that's our seventh. Wait, one two. This is our seventh full elephant. We have this one and we have another one oh, without yeah. a hat. We have two without hats. But the one without the hat has also got a broken head spring downstairs. That, uh, yeah, it's not not too good. I think the rest of it, though, looks pretty good. Pokey says Euro Minions. Pokey Puppy! <laughs> uh, Peppermint Pat says Birds. Euro Minions. I like the Euro Minions and the birds. I need to get the other bird loose. I like these so much, and then I was like, I don't have them on my display. I have them on my Pez rack and the cards, so. Yeah. They're so cute. So hard. And I really like these mascots, and I want to open them all. But I just can't bring myself to opening the package sometimes. <laughs> so. Oh. Uh, also this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is uh, high on my list, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this a lot, too, with the colored sleeve. Oh, yeah. We need to make sure we don't mingle that in. And I put it so I put it with my panda. One of those pandas, I think, next to you has the colored sleeve. I think it's over there. One of these? I think so, yeah.
We are back. <laughs> Sorry about that. We were uh, wrapping it up anyway, but... Uh, we lose some people. Yeah, but the battery... The battery died. We bought a people kit. People like, oh, they're done. We bought a kit to be... Uh, to plug it into the power. Yeah, that'll so be helpful. That's going to be real helpful. Although we got two hours and 16 minutes this time. Yeah, I'm done. Versus, I need mean, to go relax. Yeah. And uh, what time is that? Eat some lunch. Battery down! All day. So thanks so much for, for joining us. We do this every Saturday. I don't expect them all. La normally they go like an hour and 45 yeah. minutes or so. So this one went a little extra long, but we were having fun. So Yeah. <laughs> It goes around. by so fast, I don't even realize. <laughs> I look at the clock and I'm like, oh. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. And as always, I put out videos Tuesday and Thursdays over here on my YouTube channel. And then, like Greg said, every Saturday, the live stream, we're going to be doing that for a while, probably. And the fun part is that if, when we actually go to the Pez conventions, we can live stream from the Pez conventions. Oh, yeah. On Saturday. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk about that when we get closer to it, but we're going to do something fun for the Pest Convention. Yeah. And then uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed and share these videos with your other Pest Collecting friends. I'd appreciate it. They probably would too. Anything else? That's it. That's it. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you Tuesday. Bye. Bye.